Today I'm going to be videoing and taking a look at a cyber power UPS or uninterruptible power supply. This particular one is the PP1500S WT2 and it's got uh, a thousand watts UPS. It's a dual battery system. This is the box that comes in, kind of plain Jane. Uh, I had it shipped to me so I don't know if they're I'm going to imagine the retail box is very similar to this being this has a UPC. And this thing is very heavy. We've got 16.4 kilograms. So it's definitely not light. So now let's take a look at the unit itself. Okay, here are the accessories that come with it. We've got the power panel management software. This is the software that will shut the computer down and also allow you to control the UPS. Here's a user manual. Product registration card. USB cable. And this is kind of nice. Some of the APCs, they have their own uh, proprietary system to connect. This is just a regular USB cable. And then there's also a serial connection to the unit itself. Okay, now let's get the unit out. And here is the unit. Very heavy, but it's not too big. I mean, it's about as wide there as my hand, and then maybe two hands deep. So it's not a huge unit, it's just extremely heavy. And then on the bottom there, the bat is the battery door. Ooh. As it knocks stuff off my desk. And then the back here, we have a really, really nice heavy-duty cable to go to the wall with an angled plug, which is nice. It fits flat against the wall. Well, I mean, kind of flat against the wall. And then on the back side, we've got a circuit breaker, the standard wiring fault light. There is for a modem, to the wall, to the computer. Then we talked about the communications port there for the USB, and then also serial. There's a little fan. And then we've got one, two, three, four that are battery and surge, and then one, two, three that are surge only. I've been using another one of these on my main PC, my gaming PC there. I've been using this one for a better part of a month, probably maybe even a little longer than a month, and it saved my bacon a couple of times. Even with the high power draw of the this PC, it still is able to hold it up for about, well, if I'm going hardcore, maybe five to ten minutes and then at idle it keeps it going for about a half an hour you know maybe twenty minutes to a half an hour so that's good so I really do think this is one of the better ones and I'm starting to switch over from APC to the cyber power series I like it because it's got uh, the automatic voltage regulation it's got the sine wave output and it's got a boost and buck uh, circuit so it'll you know take a lot of the heat off and just make some nice clean power especially if you live anywhere with you know minor brownouts or surges I'm pretty lucky I don't have many uh, brownouts or surges but I do lose power from time to time so this is nice to keep the computer from dropping in the middle of doing anything which obviously isn't very good so I really like this and I highly recommend the uh, Cyber Power series, all of the, you know, any one of them I'd recommend, especially if they've got the AVR and I would definitely get one with the sine wave output. I know they start to get a little more expensive with the sine wave output, but it's, it's just a lot better on your power supplies, especially when it kicks over to battery backup and then you still get that the smooth power going through to uh, your computer.
So this concludes my little mini review on the Cyber Power series of battery backups and this one in particular like I said before was the P1500S WT2 and as always thank you for watching